AI art is so real looking. Yeah. Be Hey folks, back at you with a new Ponder Inducing Theory Inc. video for you, and this one has me a little uh, freaked out. Uh, I'm a little unsettled, if you will. Uh, this video is about the big new trend with artificial intelligence, particularly AI creating visual art, and how eerily similar it is to dreaming, and even lucid dreaming, and uh, let's get into it. Like a lot of you, I have been absolutely blown away with what you could do with text prompted art, and I immediately went to town making everything from Christopher Walken as Beetlejuice to Diogenes at a shopping mall and even Star Trek Jesus. That's like my favorite one. Now, one of the first things you notice when partnering up with an AI is that it's not exactly perfect. In fact, it can sometimes be downright creepy, but here is where it gets eerily creepy. You see how it compounds? There's like creepy, but then there's like eerily creepy. I, I use words. So there are a few reoccurring glitches, if you will, with the art that the AI generates, and I want to focus on two of them. One is hands. Hands, for whatever reason, is a lot to ask for from any one of these AI generators, from mid-journey to stable diffusion. Asking an AI to draw hands is like asking me to stay away from the cheese fondue fountain. Things are gonna get messy. Things are gonna get dangerous. But why? Why hands? Now, to be fair, it's not like I can draw hands, but it seems strange that the AI gets hung up on them. Now, that's the first one. The second one is text. AI does not do well with text. You type in anything and the AI basically has a stroke and shits itself. It's crazy. Now, if you know anything about lucid dreaming, you know where I'm going with this. These two attributes are identical to dreaming. Many moons ago, I used to train myself to lucid dream. Now, for those that don't know what lucid dreaming is, it's essentially training yourself during your waking hours to recognize when you're dreaming in your sleeping hours. Ergo, you can eventually develop tools to actually control your dreams. Imagine the best and most freeing VR experience you can imagine. Zuck it, Zuckerberg. Now, one of the ways you can train yourself is by looking for a book, a clock, or anything with text or numbers. You'll see pretty quickly that the words or numbers are all jumbled. It's crazy. It's like they're incoherent and often have these weird repeating attributes, just like AI art. What? And hands, it's the same thing. One of the tricks to lucid dreaming is to look at your hand and watch your fingers go nuts. It's like your brain just can't accurately understand what fingers are. Am I crazy? Isn't that a weird coincidence? Am I the only one seeing this? What does it mean? What does it mean? All right, so this is Theory Inc. It is a requirement on this channel that we unabashedly make up irresponsible theories as to what's going on. And I want to start with this. Maybe the basic building blocks of consciousness starts with hallucinations, AKA dreams. So maybe, just maybe, this weird AI art glitch with text and hands are surefire signs that we are legitimately on the right path to creating true, sentient intelligence. Now, one of my favorite YouTube channels, Closer to Truth, has a video called, What Do Brains Do? And they talk about receiving external information, AKA like your sight and your smell and sounds. And what your brain is actually doing is already creating a reality. It's just all that external stimuli is shaping it. Check it out. What are we doing? We are emulating reality inside our head. We have managed to generate a dream-like condition where we actually have sounds and objects that move with respect to backgrounds and all of these things without effort. So that is basically what the nervous system is about. It's a huge, it's a beautiful device to emulate reality and in fact to make reality. So if we're emulating reality, indeed 
helping to create reality. And you're using this term like a dream machine. It's for the brain. Normally, we think of a dream as something that's not reality. That it's 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 a, it's our own fantasy world that has nothing to do with reality. But I think what you're saying is that the same process by which we dream is the way we exist in the real world. Also, absolutely. So is that where AI is right now? Is artificial intelligence in a beginning dream state, a consciousness fetus close to waking up? Is dreaming the natural state of consciousness? Again, from closer to the truth. Between dreaming and being awake is that our dreams when we are awake are basically modified or modulated by our senses. And that's fascinating because then it seems like this concept of dreaming, which we think sometimes is just artificial and, and irrelevant, is the core. It is, in fact, the core. So there you go. Maybe it is all just correlating evidence, but there is something strange about the similarities between dreaming and artificial intelligence art. What is it? Coincidence? Maybe. Now, speaking of consciousness, I have two projects releasing soon. One in the next few weeks is a short story about a blob of meat gaining consciousness and taking over the world, naturally. And the other project, The Index, you've heard me talk about, is this huge multi-episode project that includes a comic book, video games, alternate reality game, and it deals with panpsychism as a concept. And it's a coming, so if you haven't already subscribed to this channel and The Index channel, link in description, then do so now because I really want to reward you early adopters and subscribers with something special once that sucker launches. As always, I appreciate you guys, and until next time, stay pondering.